my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and welcome to day 10 of Inktober Tangles for 2023. And today's pattern is Bildies, I'm not sure how to say that, Bildies by Stephanie Bordeaux. She's a CZT. And... If you happen to uh, put your tiles on social media, I'd like for you to please add at BBL Tangles, and that tags me so that I know that you have something, and I'm going to look at it. And this was a very interesting pattern. Um, in the step out, she had three different ways that you could do it. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay, so it basically starts with orbs. Okay, and then to me it looks like little flames inside. And then um, this one had a little bit different on these orbs and then like little fescues sticking out. And then this one was even more different. So it makes a, a fun ribbon, okay? And I'm going to show you this one. All right, so if you have not watched the introduction and the day one, please do to see how to, to use these and create your tiles. And uh, I am using a Micron 01, a graphite pencil, and a blending stump. Okay. So I'm going to start here. And I can tell you I don't make perfect circles. Okay, <laughs> there's one, and I'm holding my breath while I do this so that it looks okay. I'm trying to make it the same size as the one above it. Okay, and I'm just going to do two so uh, it will turn out more like that. Okay, and then... Where they meet is where the big part is going to be. So in the middle, I'm just going to curve and come around and then do the same thing on this side. Come around and meet there. Okay? And then I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing. So start at the middle. Curve and come around, meet at the bottom, and do the same thing here. Okay? And then we put three orbs that will decrease in size. So there's one. This one's going to be a little bit smaller, and that will be the smallest one. Same thing here. Big one, slightly smaller, and even smaller. Okay, and now we're going to put an aura. So just take your time. I know some people don't like auras. You can see that mine are not perfect. And then, same thing on this side. I do better if my pen is pointing toward what I'm trying to aura. So, 
That's one. I'll try to make the same number as on the other side, but if it's not, it's okay. All right, now I'm gonna go up to that one and do the same thing. And I get quiet when I'm concentrating. <laughs> Turn it. And I'm trying to have my auras be about the same. And as soon as I start talking, they're not. Okay. All right. Now, if you were doing this in a ribbon, of course, you would put your next circle here and then start and go out with it, okay? The last thing that, sh well, not the last, the next thing is to put an aura around both of these, so... Again, if you just take your time Oops. Trying to keep it the same distance, but it's not, and that's okay. Okay, so you could make a decision here whether you want to do something like that whether you want to do the little fescues or put the little orbs like that. And same thing with what you put in the center here. You can do like that, a little bit thicker outer edge. Like this one has the little dots in the center. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I think I'll do this one. This kind of repeats what you have in there. Okay, and then I'm going to fill that in down there at the bottom. And then the same thing on this side. Okay, so now it's time to add our shading. And I thought it was kind of fun how this turned out. Now, I did my little um, auras were a little bit further apart, but uh, let's see if we can do that. So right next to it, I'm just using my pencil, my graphite pencil, and I'm just going to very gently add graphite in that first aura. Okay, let's do that on this side. You can add cool design like this, almost like a stripe, with your pencil instead of necessarily with your pen. Okay, and let's just soften that. I do have this paper clip that I, anymore, I just keep it inside and it helps to push that tip out. So I do have a sharp tip on my blending stump and that's what I'm using to just kind of push that graphite into that area that we just added the shading to. And then I'm gonna jump over and do this one. Okay. 
and then I'm going to do the one that's on the outside. So that would be this one. See, that's where it helps if my uh, R's were exactly the same. They're not, but it's okay. Turn it. I like it. And let's see. I'm trying to decide if I want to put the little dot in the center of these. I think not. But you can. Um, I'm also going to put just a little bit of a shadow in here. Just like that. On each side of this shape and then I'm going to soften that okay you could do it on each side let's do that I think that makes it look even more like a flame just a very slight shadow there all right <laughs> these are some fun patterns I'm enjoying this I hope you are too okay again that was Builds by Stephanie Bordeaux CZT that was day 10 I hope you enjoyed it again please tag me if you put your tiles on Facebook or Instagram I would love to see them please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and i'll be back tomorrow with day 11. thank you bye